Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorial, we saw how we can go and DD also compute a uh, network uh, may it be wireless or may it be on our Ethernet. And we also uh, taught you that even if you're not on a uh, specific router, then also you can go ahead and do a distributed denial of service attack by using multiple computers or simply uh, denial of service attack that would be more than fine to go ahead and uh, stop or let's say uh, destroy a simple uh, destroy the signals of a router so but in this tutorial we would be teaching some uh, uh, I would be teaching you something different and that would be to sniff uh, HTTP traffic through driftnet over here we would not be destroying anything we would just be sniffing what the other party is actually doing so and it, uh, make sure that uh, it's only working and I will make sure that this will only work on HTTP because if it's HTTPS then this will not work and I will have to go ahead and strip off the secure system layer the, uh, for our target computer so let's start with this guy so first thing that I, we would need to do would be to go ahead and uh, first IP forward or uh, that's a port forward this thing in order for us to do that we need to go ahead and first type cat slash space slash PR so I'm simply doing is that what I'm simply doing is that I'm just port forwarding this thing so cat space slash proc slash sys I'm just going into the directory slash net slash IPv4 slash IP underscore forward now hit enter as you can see this is 0 and cat means I am reading but I need to change this 0 to 1 because I need to go ahead and for, uh, for, forward my port so that I could go ahead and gain access or change uh, the uh, person's ability to go ahead and access anything so that I will be able to see what he's actually trying to access. So if this output is 0 you are getting the same thing then just go ahead and edit it using your nano editor type nano and space slash proc slash sys slash net and uh, IPv4 and IP underscore forward and just go ahead and open this simple thing and as, we, as it is zero just go ahead and edit it type 1 and as soon as you type 1 just go ahead and type control X it will ask you to save uh, yeah, whether you want to save it type yeah, Y and enter and just go ahead and type hit enter perfect now again go ahead and see whether it is changed perfect it is changed to 1 now uh, we then we need to go ahead and forward this port so we need to go and type echo echo space one double arrows and we need to type proc slash sys slash net slash ipv4 slash ip underscore forward and we need to go ahead and type this so that uh, we will be able to go ahead and forward this ip done perfect now we need to spoof the victim pc to believe that we are the gateway so in order for us to do that we need to go ahead and type ARP spoof space hyphen I space now here we need to go ahead and type the interface that is uh, our ETH0 ET or WN0 whatever it is so for me uh, you can go ahead and check it over here you can type IF config and check uh, where your IP address is if you're using a wireless network that is uh, Wi-Fi then you will see uh, this IP address over your Wi-Fi so I'll just go ahead and copy this and paste it over here since uh, it's not over here sorry first I need to type the ETH0 and hyphen T now I need to go and type the victim's IP address and make sure that this is the victim's IP address. I'm not DDoSing a target so I don't need to go and insert over here my uh, gateway IP address. I need to um, write over here my victim's IP address. And if you already gained access to any computer, remote computer, then you would already have guessed the IP address of the victim. If not, then you can go and type over here nmap-sp and you can type 192.168. Okay, and just before you have this, if you don't even have your routers, I have taught in the previous tutorial how we can go ahead and check uh, the uh, router's IP address. Okay, it should be 10. And this is my gateway. So I can just go ahead and type nmap hyphen hyphen sp space 192.68.236.2154. And it will show me all the available IP ranges. And since uh, 130 is my IP address and sorry 130 I believe yeah 130 is my IP address this is for the gateway then this means that this would be for my target computer I'll just copy it and paste it over here that's the target hyphen T and then I will go ahead and now type my uh, own gateway and I will go ahead and this is my gateway that's 192.168.2.236.2 Perfect. Now as soon as I go ahead and type that this above command will fool the victim PC to take us as the gateway and now we need to forward all the packets to the victim's PC when he or she tries to access the web. And we do that by doing exactly the opposite. So I'll just go ahead and hit enter and on this terminal I will go ahead and type over here ARP spoof 
hyphen i ed at zero space hyphen t and over here right now i need to go ahead and use uh the gateway ip address rather than using my uh, or the uh, target's ip address because we have re we are redirecting that person to us so i'll just paste it over here space and now the victim's ip address oh, sorry this is the victim's ip address and i'll hit enter perfect now everything is done rerouting is done now just we need to start the different to access everything so I'll just go ahead and start different over here. Okay, let me check. Okay, uh, I think it should have been T, not I. Perfect. Okay, perfect. It's working. Now I'll start another terminal and I'll type driftnet and let's see what we have over here. We have the simple space, but I need to go ahead and specify what actually we are trying to use. So I'll just go ahead and check whether my internet is still working. Yes, my internet is still working. And I won't be using uh, the HTTPS, I'll be using the HTTP. I'll teach you later on as to how we can go ahead and, uh, okay, I believe I won't be able to use the HTTP because Google is always secure. So I'll just type driftnet space hyphen I space and now we need to type the internet. So it will be ETH0 in my case and I'll hit enter. So this will go ahead and browse each and everything that we have and uh, that it will go ahead and show me everything that the person is accessing on the HTTP, not the S. So I'll just go ahead and let's say um, HTTP, HTTP websites. And I'll just go ahead and check whether we have anything, nothing till now. So let's check some websites which are not HTTPS. Okay. And just open this let's see if we have something okay perfect since the wikipedia is not based on https as you can see i have the wikipedia images over here okay it's a bit slow perfect now let's go down and check some random websites we should be getting all the images over here which we are seeing okay let's do one thing let's go to some actor website let's say tom cruise for example and this is the image I don't know from where it is exactly for uh, so I just want to see if I could get that image over here if this is not on a secured uh, web page then I will be able to access that oh it's HTTPS bad luck so let's see this if okay let's see the ID IMDB website okay perfect as you can see I have the IMDB website and all the images over here will be displayed over here I'll just go down maximize this a bit and I'll just refresh this so it should be over here each and everything or maybe this is way too cast so I'll just open another one let's say for example yeah I'll go to the IMDB website and I should be seeing this pic somewhere around here perfect as you can see we have this pic so this gives me an idea as to what exactly the person is doing so and it's not that hard so this is just for the HTTP if you're using HTTPS website then I can easily go ahead and uh, strip off the secure layer and um, I can also go ahead and access these things but this is not it if you go ahead and browse some more things you can even go ahead and check which website the person is accessing yeah, as you can see I have all the images over here as soon as this page loads in full I will have everything over here filled. If you also have, you can also go ahead and use the Wireshark and sniff these traffics. Don't show this message again. Yeah, you need to go ahead and do that. And let this website load till then we will go ahead and capture the uh, traffic. I can just select ETH0. Perfect. And I'll close. And I'll just start. So as you can see, whatever happens over here, I will get uh, the exact uh, area as to what exactly is happening, how much bandwidth is being consumed and who is exactly using that. As you can see, 131 is our target and it is. Uh, I will get all the information about what is accessing and when it is accessing. So you can go ahead and uh, take a look at that. I won't be teaching you that in this tutorial and I believe our page may have loaded in full or maybe it may take uh, forever to load. So. Uh, that's it for this tutorial guys. I have taught you almost everything as you can see the pages have been loaded uh, Till until I closed it was only loaded till over here So I can see all the images and different is only for going ahead and seeing the images and yes That's it for this tutorial and we'll take uh, uh, another look uh, of Our evil grade in the next tutorial